Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. I have been online all the weekend. I need some off time from the screen, yes, and I had some friends visiting from Vemlo, but I am back on this beautiful Monday morning when it's raining here. It's good for the palm trees. They get a little bit more greener. Today, talking about four amazing Bitcoin charts, a trading tip, a travel tip, some live advice, talking about the news, two items, one item happened already, one item is about to happen. It's very, very, very important for Bitcoin. I don't think people understand how important it is. And of course, uh, the inspirational quote at the end, guys. Let's quickly jump into the charts to see what is happening to Bitcoin today. Bam. The first chart for the day, guys, is of course this four hour chart. We can see the resistance here at 66K that we had. We can see we are falling down again all the way here to that red box area 61k could we wake one more time to 59k over here yes we can wake we did wake already one two times into the red box here even three times we can again wake into that box this green line of course is a support line because we look back to the left and we can see there was a lot of support over there support over there support and resistance over here so uh, yes important uh, important number for bitcoin that's 62k if we break it yes we can fall down below in that red box i want you to zoom out and look at the next chart and understand exactly what is happening to bitcoin in my honest opinion i think it's a very important move that is about to happen we are going to look at the day chart on this day chart we can see that we are still in this flag pattern it's not a perfect flag pattern like i said because i told you hmm, i don't like it when they go like two long flags and uh, if you compare it to the poles but still it is a valid flag pattern at the moment now i also told you a couple of videos ago guys don't worry we're gonna hit that blue line that's coming up please look back at these videos please be my guest i told you we will hit that blue line and what did we do exactly we hit that blue line and exactly at the level that i told you on 61k so it is still playing out but the thing i want to show you is something way more important we have been going sideways now for a very long time let's take a measurement over here let's from this moment over there this is the first candle we went sideways to that moment and with sideways i mean <clears throat> we are going between 60 and 70k bouncing up and down in a sideways movement yes it's a flag pattern but still it's a sideways movement of almost 61 days 61 days of going between 60 and 70k a sideways move now what i always do is i look back at fractals when did we go sideways for a very long time before i don't need to search that far i found already here this area let's do a measurement from this candle over here which is december 2023 we had a sideways movement all the way till, let's say over there is when we broke out of the sideways movement of 66 days. 66 days, you can see over there, we went sideways. We kept bouncing between 39K and 46K. And we went up and down and we went up and down. We kept fighting that green line of 44K. Then we went here to uh, 47K. We were all very happy with 47k at that time because a lot of us were still thinking that we couldn't go higher than 50k or 40k. And that was a long sideways movement, 67 bars, 66 bars. What happened after that? After that, that we broke out of that sideways movement, we went up massively here. We went up with 63, 64% almost. The top a little bit higher, 66% after that sideways movement of 60 days we went up with 60 percent now again we can see a sideways movement again we can see we're going sideways already for 60 days can it be another six days of course can it be another 10 days of course but there will be a huge move from that moment and if that move would again for example be 60 percent let's say it would be from the top here the breakout 60 percent then we would get to a level of uh, somewhere over here, 100k. So that would extend this line almost to the 100k level. Sideways doesn't mean bad. It means building structure, building enough power to break out to higher levels again for Bitcoin. Now let's jump into some more very interesting charts. This is the first one. 
This one I found on X, it's from Crypto Crew University, one of the other YouTubers I really admire. I really look at his uh, videos a lot of times as well because I like the way he Steve also zooms out into the market and he always finds these interesting things on the charts. Like for example at the moment here, 2024. We can see the red line is crossing the blue line. That normally happens around the top of a bull market. Look, it happened over here, we went up. That was the start of the bull market, market. bam, when we went down. We already found the top of the bull market. Yes, to be very clear, we went even higher a little bit later when we were down below that uh, blue line and we crossed the orange line to the top. So yes, it's still possible to make a higher high after we crossed down. But that was kind of the moment that we said, hey, hmm, that market now is shifting, you know? And we are seeing that now here again. We are crossing the blue line. But if we look a little bit more further back to 2017, we can also see in that bull market, that's the bull market that most of you started and that I really liked because that's when I was going all in, that bull market we did that multiple times. We went above the blue line, we came down below, fake out, we went again above it, we came down below, we went again to the top and then bam, huge crash. And that was the blow off top. So, in my honest opinion, we are building, building a structure like 2017, not like 2020. This market, the whole market, the whole structure, how it's being built, look how it's going up beautifully, looks like the 2015, 16, 17 build-up. Not like the 2019, 20 build-up. It's looking different. I believe this looks way more like this. So I do think we could build a structure like that as well. Go above, come down below, make a fake out, go higher, and again higher. And it will take all the way up in 2025. And that's also what you see in this halving, because normally at the halving, the MVRV was 1.74, 1.84, This time at the halving, the MVRV was 2.26. That's a very high level, 2.26, because we look back to the history and to the left over here, then we can see all the other times we were at that level, for example, over here, that was in the midst of the bull market, or here, that was in the steep part of the bull market. Over here, when we touched these levels, that was just before we went into that massive second part of the bull market. Here, 2020, again, we were just before that massive second part of the bull market. So it's a very high level for the MVRV v score to be around that halving, but you know, it is not the highest level that we could go. Higher levels are over here, this one over here, or even over here above five. That's, what we, that's how high we have gone. And here this market was really beautifully structured. Look, how we went above, higher, 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 higher. We could be building that same structure over here. Check, just compare this again with this. It just looks way more um, like each other than it looks like this. So this is the 2017 market structure that we are building, slowly crawling up and then uh, creating again these peaks, I believe. And those peaks will lead to a Bitcoin price above 100K. And this is the chart that I've been talking about and it finally is uh, adjusted, so thank you uh, Charles BTC for that. This is showing you how you really zoom out. The first halving we were at $12, then the second halving at $648, then the third halving at $8,572, and then the fourth halving we were at $63,977. Where do you think that we will be at the fifth halving? If you look at this progress, we could easily go times four, which would mean we would easily be above 200K at that fifth halving in 2028, which probably will be again in April or May, and then we will be around 200K. So why are people still so stressed and freaked out and doubting to buy Bitcoin at 63K or 62K if they understand that just with four years waiting, everything you invest now, don't look at them anymore because you will go and be going up and down in your emotions. It's an emotional roller coaster ride. Just don't look at it. If we go lower than 60K in the future here in this bear market bottom 2026 to, for example, 50K or 40K, buy a shitload of more Bitcoins because you will understand that four years later, April, May 2028, we will be at around 200k in that halving. That's how Bitcoin is moving. Even if we would only be around 100k, it is a perfect investment 
where you get like 40% more back than you invested. So it's very important to understand the long-term vision of Bitcoin. The opposite we can see, of course, in this one. What is a dollar worth? You know, the purchasing power of the US dollar. If you look to today as one dollar, then here in 1920, it was 26 dollar. So if, you, if we are now able to buy goods for one dollar, like a Snickers bar or a Twigs bar or a Mars bar, whatever you like, if we look back like 100 years ago, we could have bought 26 Snicker bars. That is how much your purchasing power has decreased. From being able to buy 26 times more in 1920 than you're able to buy now. 26 times more. If your salaries didn't go up with 26 times, you're losing purchasing power. You're losing purchasing power. You're able to buy less and less and less every year. This kind of charts you don't want to be invested in. It looks to me like a real, real shitcoin. A shitcoin launch at $26 and it's only decreasing and decreasing and decreasing and decreasing and only making lower highs and lower lows to here where we are now. The purchasing power is slowly disappearing. You have 26 times less purchasing power already in 2020 than we have in 1920. Now, four years later, I think it's almost 50 times less purchasing power. That's why you shouldn't be in dollar and your capital should be in Bitcoin. Hope you really enjoyed all those charts, guys. Yes, short term, a lot of volatility. Of course, we already closed the Friday CME gap on Saturday evening. Bam, we came down again. Now we are 62K. Again, an amazing dip moment. And you know, I know, and I know that all of you out there are saying, yeah, you keep repeating dips, my money is gone. We can't buy any dips anymore. I need to keep repeating it for all those people that didn't buy that dip yet. And this is again, an amazing uh, opportunity. And for all those people that still have a house or a few cars or some golden necklaces or some Rolex watches, send an amazing dip to sell all that and buy Bitcoin, double your capital and buy back all the stuff that you were, were so attached to after you made some profits. But that's just no financial advice. That's just a long haired dude standing on the rooftop of a penthouse in Spain, enjoying the sound of the waves and enjoying uh, to spend his Bitcoins now and then. Guys, uh, but it's very important to understand there is something about to happen very soon tomorrow that could turn around this price. It could be a beautiful moment to buy the dip. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today is, guys, sometimes you need to compare these fractals that you find on the charts. At the moment, everybody thinks Bitcoin is boring. That's why I made the video, oh, it's so boring. And that is because we are going sideways already for a very long time. There was one more moment, like not so long ago, that we went sideways also very, very long time. That was December to mid-February. We went sideways for almost 60 days, two months. And we were around 46K at that moment. When we stopped going sideways, bam, we exploded to 60K. Now at the moment, again, Bitcoin has been going sideways between 62 and 70K almost 65 days. The move that will come out of this sideways movement will be a huge move. The longer we go sideways, the longer we build up the tension, the harder that move will be. And in my honest opinion, that will again be a move to the top, 60K to 80K. That's why I made a video last week, can Bitcoin make a 20K move? We are copying that move that we saw in December till mid-February, sideways for 60 days, huge move, now sideways already for 65 days, huge move. And on the day chart, we are still seeing that bullish flag pattern. It's not a perfect flag pattern, but it still is a bullish flag pattern. And if you break out after going sideways with this amount of days, there's always a bullish move. That is why the training tip for today is always look to these fractals. Look to the last time that we went sideways for so long. What happened during a bull market, not a bear market, completely different. And to be very honest, that bullish flag pattern, there have not been many bullish flag patterns that break out to the downside. The biggest chance is that we break to the upside. So always do TA, look at the history, look at these patterns, at these fractals that we can find on the charts. So that's the trading tip for today. Yes, I expect a huge breakout. And why? Because I found that fractal plus 
I see a beautiful bull flag on the daily. The travel tip for today, guys, is about Bitcoin ATMs. When I was this weekend in La Zenia here in Torre Vieja, it is a shopping mall, I found a beautiful Bitcoin ATM. Now I want to ask all of you at home to answer this question. Bam. Which one would you choose? This one? Or this one? Indeed. Yes, I would also have answered, yes, I'm going to use the Bitcoin ATM. But if you zoom in into the image, maybe I can freeze the image, bam, over there, you can see that the rate at that moment, exchange rate, is 66,000 euros. At that moment, the official exchange rate in Bitcoin was 60,000 euros. That's a 10% profit that machine is taking, or again, the owner of that machine is taking. So during your travels, if you're about to use these Bitcoin ATMs, please check that exchange rate first. You should never pay 10% more for your Bitcoins. 66,000 against 60,000 official rate. You should never pay more than the exchange rate of Bitcoin. Of course, the ATMs need to make a little bit profit, but like 1% or 2% is okay. But 10% is just ridiculous. If you find the Bitcoin ATM here in Lazania, just put like a sticker on it, change your exchange rate because I, nobody needs to pay 10% more than the official rate guys then i would prefer to join on the forums and the groups for an otc dealer and just exchange it for cash or do a little bit more trouble send your money to bybit and exchange it at bybit because there is zero 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 exchange rate yeah 0.025 percent exchange rate if you do it i think otc even zero exchange rate so then i prefer to go and send everything to bybit claim your bonus up to thirty thousand dollar exchange it for free over there and spend all your bitcoins with your bybit debit card instead of paying 10 percent at that atm i think the bitcoin atms in spain at least this one in Torre Vieja, the one of the brand that you see, should change the exchange rate because this is stupid, ridiculous to top up with 10%. Then answering one of the questions, guys, the question was, uh, Didi, can I use the Palau ID also for my Bitcoin debit cards? No, you won't be able to do a proof of address with your Palau ID. You will be able to do KYC to get you to level one in Bybit, for example, or any other exchange to be trading, but you won't be able to do proof of address as you don't have an address in Palau. But my solution, of course, is always creative. So you open your Bybit account, for example, for the Dutch people, you open a Bybit account in the Netherlands for the Dutch, open that and apply for a Bybit debit card in the Netherlands. Then you create a new email address. With that new email address, you apply for a new Bybit account. Then to verify that new Bybit account, you use your Palau ID. So then you have two Bybit accounts, one with your Palau ID, which is legal. One is with your Dutch ID, which is always le also legal. You will be trading on your Palau ID. That's what you use to trade because, you know, you're able to do leverage trading and you do perpetual contracts uh, over there in the Palau ID and whenever you want to use your Bybit card you send a little bit USDT with an internal transfer as at Bybit you can do internal transfers from one user to another user ID because there is no cost to an internal transfer you will send a little bit USDT to your Dutch account where you have your Bybit card connected and then you just spend it with your Bybit card so you do internal transfers between your Palau and your Dutch ID so your problem is solved of course that's also possible for all the other countries if you like in Germany or Spain or wherever you are and you can't trade fully on Bybit just use the Palau ID to make a second account the link is down below and that's the solution to be able to trade to the fullest of options on Bybit and spend also uh, by using your Bybit debit card. I hope you enjoyed that answer to the question guys uh, and let me know give me some feedback down below if you don't like these kinds of solutions because I am always searching for very very creative solutions in this crypto world. Then we have two news items today, guys. The first item is that Phoenix and Wasabi Wallet are also going to leave the United States. Why? Because they are afraid that they also need to close business as the new laws in the United States will make it maybe impossible for a non-custodial Bitcoin software wallet to operate still in the United States. And they want to keep serving all their clients in the rest of the world. So what do these companies do? They leave the United States. 
And it's very strange that the United States is doing this crackdown, of course, because they don't want people to hold Bitcoin in their own wallet. They want people to hold Bitcoin in their spot ETF so they can tax them on all their profits and all that stuff. And they make their friends at the Black Rocks, of course, a little bit richer. And because the Black Rocks become a little bit richer, they, of course, will give some donations uh, to the presidential runs and all that stuff. That's how it just works. That's politics. There is a huge crackdown on these self-custody wallets, like these software wallets. Like I already told you about the court case of Samurai Wallet. They are now going to court. Now, uh, Wasabi and Phoenix, they are like, well, I don't want to go to court. Let's just leave the United States. Let's leave that country, that like almost communistic country that doesn't uh, give people uh, freedom access to, for example, Bitcoin wallets. So they will go and operate from another country and the Americans will still be using the wallet because they won't be able to track which American is using their wallet. Yes, of course, with your iPhone they can, but yeah, there's other ways to install these software wallets as well. So, you know, they can try whatever they want, the United States. They won't succeed in the end and the rest of the world will continue evolving and accepting Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as this new beautiful trend, new beautiful technology that is changing the world for the better. So leave the United States alone. Go, 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 go. If I wouldn't be there, I would fly very quickly, bam, the first flight out of the United States. I would never come back. I would go to beautiful countries where I can do the fuck what I want. Uh, but some people uh, prefer to live there. For them, I hope there will be again a new creative solution. If there will be one, um, yes, of course. Let me know down below. And if I find one, yes, I of course will let you know here on the screen again. So that was the first news item. More and more self-custody wallets are going to leave the United States as there is a complete crackdown, crackdown because of all the crackheads <laughs> in the crackhead government of the United States. There's a crackhead crackdown on all these self-custody Bitcoin wallets. So I don't know the solution yet. Yeah, I know a solution. Get rid of the crackhead politicians, but probably you are all still voting for the same people that are like 80 plus or whatever, and not the young presidential candidates that could maybe change uh, America for the better. But like, that's uh, not my problem here in Europe or Asia. That's the issue of you guys out there. But I just don't like that they are attacking the freedom use of Bitcoin while they are forcing everyone to use, of course, Bitcoin through a spot ETF that they completely can control. And yes, you all know that is exactly what is going on. So we should collectively fight against that. So you, how do you fight against it? To choose all those politicians that are pro-Bitcoin. And the second news item for today is a very important news item. As tomorrow, the Hong Kong Bitcoin and Ethereum spot ETFs will go live. And people are like, yeah, but Asia is not that big of a market. It's not that important. It is very important. And why is it very important? Because the amount of crypto users in Asia just check this image over here, is bigger than the combined amount of users in Europe and the United States. So Europe crypto users, United States crypto users, those two combined are not even as big as the Asian crypto users. And now in Asia, in Hong Kong, this Bitcoin and Ethereum spot ETF is going to go live. There will be, again, a lot of retail Asian crypto users that will go and start to use the Hong Kong Spot ETF because they feel safer by doing it. But there is also going to be a huge amount of new Bitcoin users, institutional investors, that are also going to buy Bitcoin through these Hong Kong Spot ETFs for Bitcoin. The Asian market is massive when it comes to crypto. Maybe not massive when it comes to normal stocks. Maybe then the US market is bigger. But if we look to crypto users, the Asian market is way bigger than the US and Europe combined. So I believe it's a very important move. I believe this dip is a very interesting dip that you can buy today because I do believe there will be a lot, a lot, a lot of liquidity going through the spot ETFs in Bitcoin and Ethereum in Hong Kong into this market, which will again propel the Bitcoin price to higher highs. Two beautiful news items. Let's jump into the last part of the video. And yes, I hope you can see it, but my sweater is getting wet, guys. It starts to rain again, so we'll need to keep the uh, inspirational part a little bit uh, shorter. The main issue that we see in the world today, I believe, is that everyone wants to be special. Everyone out there thinks they're special. Everyone thinks they deserve a certain amount of attention, or they deserve a certain amount of rights, or they deserve this or that, or blah, a blee, a blow, a blah, or they identify as something special, whatever it is. People are all searching to be special. I think that the secret of happiness doesn't lie exactly in that. And I think that the secret of being happy doesn't lie in being special. 
I think it lies in being humble and being normal. That's why we as a family still live a minimalist lifestyle. Yes, we rent beautiful houses, we don't own them. Yes, I make a shitload of YouTube videos, but that's to educate people, not to feel special myself. Believe me, I would feel more special if I would wake up every morning, have the time to do my sports, do a beautiful healthy breakfast, walk uh, the beautiful boulevard with my wife instead of standing here in the rain making videos. That's not to become special, that's there to educate people about that corrupt system, the corrupt centralized systems of governments and central banks that we need to fight. I don't want to leave behind the world to my children that is not the same as the world that I grew up in. I want them to also experience freedom. I want them also to have choices, not a social credit system with a central bank's digital currency that will force them into all kinds of stuff that they don't want to do. That is why I'm educating you through these videos every day again and again and again, not to feel special. But I think the main issue nowadays is that everyone wants to feel special. If I look at TikTok or Insta or X, I can see people doing the most strange things just to be special because they think they will find happiness through doing those strange things because then they are special. I think that's a lie. I think that happiness lies in other things, in being humble, in being normal, in being kind, in being helpful, in being thoughtful, in being just yourself. You don't need to be special. Everyone else wants to be special already. Try to be normal. And by being normal and staying normal, if, even if you make a shitload of Bitcoins, like I am doing, to be very honest, I'm still trying to stay normal and humble and helpful and passionate. That's, that's the secret of happiness. The secret of happiness is not of being special. Special is not that important, but I think it's the biggest disease we have in this world because everyone wants to be special. And what does it lead to? To everyone just being self-centered focused. Only, only me, 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 me. Look at me. I'm special. I'm special. We are all special. <laughs> That's not going to change the world to a better place. I think it should change it to look at us. Look at how normal we can be and still can be happy. Look how we collectively can change the world. Look how we collectively can change the monetary system. Look how we collectively can change the world into a world that doesn't want wars. Do you really think when two countries are fighting that they really want war, that they really want to fight, or that they are being directed by all those puppets that want to feel special? I do think that's one of the biggest diseases in the world, everyone wanting to be special. So please, if you're one of the subscribers and followers of this channel, don't try to be special, try to be normal. And when you see me on the streets, I'm also normal, come to me. Hey Didi, do you want to drink a cup of coffee? Don't walk past by like six times hoping that I will say, hey, come have a coffee because I don't know who most of my followers are. I can't recognize you because I only see names, no faces. If you're walking by and see me, Didi, do you have time for a cup of coffee? Yes, I will have a cup of coffee with you because I don't feel special. I feel like a normal Bitcoin dude just here on the boulevard drinking a cup of coffee and I love to drink a cup of coffee. And you can ask a shitload of people that I meet every day that they know that I don't feel special and I feel normal, I act normal, I want to drink a coffee. And you can maybe even educate me. It's not always about speaking because if you speak, you only repeat what you know. If you start listening, you might learn something new. That's why I always pay attention to people. I want to learn new things, but you need to offer me a coffee at least. No alcohol anymore. I want to stop drinking alcohol. Coffee. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment or a question, whatever it is, down below the video so I can answer it in the next video. And yes, of course, look, I'm almost completely wet now. I'm gonna go inside and edit the video. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing Monday, an amazing week. See you tomorrow again. Oh, and from tomorrow, guys, I will be recording uh, the videos again from a new location for like, we will move to another location for a couple of days. I will uh, tell you everything about it in the next couple of videos. Keep watching, keep enjoying, and keep giving the thumbs ups and keep sharing it with friends and family because we still don't have 75K followers. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam.